have been lost. Like, where have you been? Like, we're here all the time, and we never see any of you. We haven't been I'm just around. kidding. We're not around. We're lost. I know. We're the lost ones. So, uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome back. We're live. It's been, what, like four weeks now? It's been, like, almost an entire month, which is sad. But, you know, we're here now. So, you know, welcome. <laughs> It's oh always God. nice in these openings because there's nobody ever on there, so right. like slowly jumping on. So, oh, you know, as, as badly as I mess them all up, <laughs> these guys never have any. And it's yet. been so long, it's kind of like, Whoa, I know, I'm rusty. What do we do here? <laughs> like, ah. Yeah. All right, I am sharing this real quickly with our friends over on uh, XL Boat. Our buddy Gary Harrington said, Good afternoon. Good oh, afternoon, hey, Gary. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see, share now. No, let's see. More options. Here we go. Share to a page. Got Jesse it, right? Bowden is oh, from Jesse Bowden. Okeechobee. Oh, yeah. All right, good. I got it. Let's see. We got a couple how people. Do we, how do we look? Yes. Oh, we look, we look good with our sign behind us, although it's really bright. It's got a big old glare on it. I'm sorry, but, you know, it is what with that it is. That big old spot right there, yeah. There you go, yeah. You know, and then every time you look up, you got it right in your glasses. It's really Hey, nice. my, my, my good friend, high school friend, actually, I should say neighborhood friend that I grew up with. Many moons ago, Greg's watching oh, from oh boy. Tehachapi, California. He's Very got a nice. cake job. I'd like to have his job. <laughs> Very good. Glenn Weir, new owner of F4 Shallow Water HDR 40. Love it, he well, says. Well, Glenn, congratulations That's... on your 40 and your boat, your F4 Shallow Water. That is a crazy, awesome rig. Yes, You're going to love that. Um... Yeah, so while everybody's just jumping on, Keith, why don't you uh, walk us through your life over the last month or so since you've been... <laughs> Has it been that long? Uh, I really think it might be. It might yeah. have been four weeks, <laughs> four three weeks, weeks at least. Yeah, uh, just been busy here. I mean, yeah. you know what? It's as crazy as it was last year. It hasn't changed. <laughs> I was talking to Ian this morning. We, we've already shipped 300 motors this <sighs> month. It's crazy insane. It is crazy. We didn't sell that many motors in six months a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, well, normally we don't pick up until, you know, June. Yeah, right. Now it's it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. But, uh, yeah, things are going well. Good. I mean, um, good. Just Real good. Out. How's your health? Uh, I've been good. Chrysler Keith, not trying. Right, nope. Chrysler Keith's been a while. Uh, took some time off last week to uh, hang out with my. Uh, Cousin from Minnesota who came into town and yeah. did a little sightseeing. The wife was off because she had uh, spring break. Spring break, so yeah. took some time off and very nice. Uh, spent some time with her and my cousin. And very good. Visited all the family, so no, it was good. Been good. Good. Nice and relaxing. Really good. Really good. So uh, your workloads kind of <laughs> dropped down in the afternoons or the evenings. Well, you know, it's uh, I wrapped up a certain project <laughs> that project. I was working on a big old project and an after work project, a side hustle, if you will. You so, were hustling. <laughs> <laughs> so now that that's done, I actually, last night was the first time in probably six months I was like, I, I should do something. <laughs> I would, like, I'm bored. Something I'm actually I, bored. Something I want to do, not that I have to do. Yes. And guess what I did? Nothing. You'll never believe this. No, no. I did not. I did that Monday. No. I got home and just sat around. But you pulled out the video game and started I gaming. I did not. I... Scrubbed my bathroom. Oh, you cleaned like the shower. Oh, like I did the whole, like the whole thing. You were uh, my 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 roommate was like, "What are you doing?" It was like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> scrubbing the walls. Too much it was weird. I just, and... Yes, I just was so bored. I was like, I gotta do something. So it's weird at night. I know, but it ha it was a really fantastic weekend. I've had two really great last weekends. Good. You want to know fishing? why? These guys probably don't know why. Why? I've done my. I've, I've upgraded my boat. Oh, that's right. We did some nice yes, upgrades. Yes, we've boat. done some cool stuff. So, uh, you know, I got I got the boat out a little earlier. My boat is not a shallow water boat. It's just a regular fiberglass boat. So it's kind of weird. You don't see a lot of them out this early in the season around yeah. here. But uh, no, we got it out. We got a new trolling motor on it, and we got uh, we got the top all on it, and the whole, figured out some of the fuel problems. So we got it runs like well, a dream. You know, I come in and I bribe Enrique a lot with the, you know, fun things and whatnot. And he's been, uh, he's looking at it, yeah. So we uh, we pulled the VRO out of it. It's had an old VRO system on it, which manages the oil for a two-stroke. It's, right. it's an old 150 Johnson. 
with the with the VRO on it, and we pulled that off, and it's run so much better, which is really awesome. And I'm sure there are guys out there that totally know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, that <laughs> VRO is a piece of crap. Um, or maybe they don't, because these guys are smart enough to just get a mud buddy. To get a mud buddy. And uh, it's funny, uh, Glenn just said, bass fear him now. They yes. sure do. Oh, man. And he says, I hope the ducks do this fall. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Depends a good your... shot, they'll fear you. Listen, listen, at least you're, you know, you, if, if not one, then the other. Right. You know, at least you're not like us. We can't shoot ducks. We can't catch bass neither. <laughs> hey, so. we shot some. We had a good last week shoot there. We you knocked did. down a couple. I knocked down, knocked a, down a few. And the boat, boats, boat, boats ran really well. Uh, speaking of, I did, uh, Andrew and I, my son-in-law, we... Did some accessorizing mm. on the boat, so we. That's uh, right. We got a new trolling motor on. But the not just thing. any trolling motor. No, it's nice remote control one. <laughs> oh, just you like know. all all uh, and, and you humble know, about uh, your remote control. And you know what the cool part is? I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Andrew's done it all. It's he, that is the nicest part. His his wife, my daughter, uh, is uh, finishing up the last little bit of her nursing stuff. So right. she's studying at home, and so he's out putzing he's around out, in the garage. Yes, <laughs> so yeah, like it's, uh, have at it. You know, you do worked, it. It's worked out good. That's good. That's yeah. really good. Uh, but you haven't used it yet. No, no, uh-uh, not, not yet. yet. No. Well, you know, we had nice weather over the weekend, and today a <laughs> foot of snow up in the up in the hills and. Uh, Rain in the valley. We did. I know. Like uh, we, we're missing several people at work today because they're up skiing. Yes, lucky people. Because you know our weather can't figure it out. Yeah. Um, let's see what else is happening here. Oh, but anyway, so I did have a lot. Of, so this last week, it, it, talking about the weather, this crazy weather. So last weekend, I was very excited because we got that new trolling motor on. It's a little six horse uh, Mercury. Mercury. It? It's a six horse Mercury that we put on to do some, you know, some trolling cross -lash. We ran up to the lake on. Saturday, really excited. Beautiful day with sun shiny, and that wind picked up right when we got there. And I mean, it was basically useless. And we froze, uh, but we did have a lot of fun. And then we came back the next day. That Sunday was also just beautiful outside, and we decided to go out golfing and absolutely froze our butts off. The wind blew nonstop, and it was freezing. It was kind so. of a real windy weekend. It was a rough yeah, weekend. I, like, I'm just determined to do things outside. Like, I've had it with this winter. I want to play outside, and I'm going to do it whether yeah. I freeze or not. Hell or high water. Hell or high water. That's what I'm saying right now. So just, you know, put on Your the base. winds. Put on the base layer and suck it up. That's what I'm saying. Nothing that a couple extra cores can't fix. Right. Right, fellas? Um, okay, so that was me and my weekend. All right, so today, now that we've got our folks on and watching, everybody's good and are tired of us. We got Casey Brady, local, well, local yokel. Yeah, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh oh, with this, like, you got to get out. But he but doesn't have cold. a boat. That's right. He doesn't have a boat anymore. He doesn't, he doesn't have a boat. Sorry, Casey. <laughs> you never sell your old boat before you get your new yeah, boat. Yeah, I mean that's just classic wisdom right there, Casey. Come on. Well, his new boats, it'll be here shortly. Oh, it should be here. Yeah, very soon. Um, but we do have a couple of things we do want to talk about today. Uh, briefly. Briefly. We did have something really awesome planned, which is why the bench is behind us. Because right. we had a bunch of stuff that we were going to show off. And Firebug Ricky burned down. I'm just kidding. He didn't burn anything. No, had some <laughs> other things he had to take care of. So could not be uh, with us today. Apparently his children are more important than... We are. What's up with that? I don't. I do not know. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't like it. But I guess. I guess there's something to it. So uh -oh. there's a uh, Amanda Barnum, my oldest daughter. Uh -huh. She says Team Andrew. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now I got to compete with you, and I got to compete with Andrew. Uh, can we not merge the two? No. I, don't, I mean, I guess. Oh my goodness, Owen Miller, morning from New Zealand. It's. Two and a half weeks from duck opening here. You guys are just opening duck season? That's amazing. We should all just head to New Zealand. That's where uh, that's where they make those uh, impressive profile boats up yes. there in New Zealand. We had one of those here for a while. Oh, man, I think we it was did. Pretty green. Oh, that was so awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, so, oh, and that's awesome. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the show. And, uh, you know. Good morning. Uh, you know. <laughs> Good day, mate. You know, I don't. I actually, just that, having a cup of coffee for, with you <laughs> in the afternoon. <laughs> I don't know. It's only three. I got hours still to go. So we're still having the coffee. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Team Andrew, that's weird. Um, 
Dream <laughs> <Just> Campbell. <kidding. laughs> Did you see his? No, I haven't gotten there yet. Got my new Excel 1854 with the HDR 40. Happier than a pig in slop. <laughs> That's very polite of you to say. <laughs> well, James. James, we're glad you got your new boat I, motor. Yes, that is really exciting. I want pictures, James. Absolutely. That's a really exciting. Um, what did he say? It was a 40? Yeah. 1854? That's going to be 1854. awesome, 1854. Yep. Going to be a Ooh, good setup. That's kind of what I want. I would like an 1860, actually. That's, that's really what I would push for. Give us just a little extra room. So I noticed we have a question from Greg Dixon. Okay. Uh, how much quieter is the BPSQ than stock? Yes. Good it's question. It's not quieter. It is not quieter. It's only about roughly two decibels louder than stock. So... It's a little bit louder than stock, but not real noticeable. Yes. And the new QS mm -hmm. is really quiet with that baffle in it. Yes. So, there. so, yeah, the QS is a little bit louder, but you're getting more power. Right. Um, and then the Q, or that's the, the yeah, that's the Q. And then the QS has that same amount of power and is just a little bit quieter. With the baffle. Because of the baffle. And it yes. is re and it is removable, so if you don't yes. like the baffle, you can take it up. I mean, for those who but want to run a baffle. There's you know. no noticeable horsepower loss. With the baffle and that muffler. Yes, that was the point of it, is that we wanted we wanted uh, noise reduction, is really what we were looking for in that. And we accomplished it, and it's awesome. So well, There's some guy named Rick Hillicost, Team Jeff. Yeah, Rick, my boy. Uh, Scott, I don't have a boat, but no motor. It's in the workshop, dang it. Hey guys, Team Jeffrey. Uh... Yeah, okay. Two weeks, Casey says. Two Rick, weeks. Two weeks, man. Oh, boy. Checks in the mail. I'll get my boat <laughs> in two weeks. <laughs> All right. Bring it on by, Casey. Uh, uh, got in a box from you guys last week. The power head on the left looks like the one I got in a box from you guys last week. Scott just ordered a power head, huh? Apparently, must have had some motor problems. I wanted to upgrade that. Must have. That new, AF, new EFI, which Ooh. is... Uh, Really good. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that, I hope it doesn't necessarily look like that. We've torn that one all to bits. Doing stuff with it. Yes. That, uh, that's Ricky's... Uh, that's our pl that's our our play and show you how to change yeah, things. How and, to fix stuff. Yeah, how to fix stuff. That's our app. Oh, there's Ricky right there. Let's see. Bought a transom saver, but there's a roller in my way. Move, remove the roller. A lot, some of those old boats... You can remove the cotter pin, pull uh -huh. out the rod, and the roller will disappear. Oh, if not, figure out how to cut it out and use the. Uh, interesting. Use the uh, that, or he could probably know it would be tough because our um, belt box uh, motion base is wider than oh. using like your on your boat. You have the one that goes to the roller, right, to the back of your outboard. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So. That won't. That probably won't work. Huh. Interesting. Corey's kind of being mean. All right. That Says uh, Keith and Jeffrey need some fishing lessons. <gasps> that we'll is take me. fishing lessons anytime. Come on down. Yeah, Corey. We'll like, meet where's... anywhere you are as long as it's local to our hometown and state of Utah. <laughs> yes. Come and get it. Because our uh, traveling funds on the. I think slow side, low side. I think. Uh, I think everybody's maybe a little, little. Uh... A little salty today. Even Scott <laughs> Hammond today. A little good day, mate. Like he's an Aussie. I mean, come on, you guys. That's it. Is fun. What if I? What if I was Scott? What if I was? Just kidding. I'm not though. Actually, I'm not even sure they say good day, mate, in New Zealand. That could be just an Australian. Right. So I hope I don't offend with my awesome Australian accent. Get the roller attachment for that end. Oh, is there a roller attachment? So apparently Rick says there's a roller attachment. So maybe uh, Rick, if you can reach out and let him know kind of where he can look that up. Because yeah. I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, absolutely, Rick. Get us a little info on that. Share that around. We got any Timber King videos coming You know, I, 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 I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to him in a while for it. Um, to see what I've got. Yeah, he's he's kind of got the one. I've been waiting for some others to come in as well. I know they have shipped an absolute crap ton of them over the last little while. Um, yeah, we've been shipping a lot of those. We have been shipping a lot of them. Isn't... I mean, we have one on on the Salty right now, though, kind of. A what? A Timber King. I guess it's kind of like half a Timber it's King. A half. 
<laughs> it's like half Timber King it's right now. It's got the short drive. It's got a short drive on it, but it also has the oil cooler, but not the handguard. No. Actually, yes. It uh, all it's really missing is the stickers and the handguard, I guess, really. But it also has the uh, turbo on it right now. Oh, the turbo. Yes, which is what we were going to talk about here in a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but I'm busy answering everybody in their and their chat. I know Glenn, Glenn just threw one out. Learn when you buy a boat with an extra handhold, it's a good idea to hang on. <laughs> yes, that that bar has references to many names. Some of them you can't use on the internet, and I won't. Yeah. But uh, it's always nice to have that right hand. Oh yeah. On the bar, so if you hit something, absolutely. It, or you make those you. tight turns. Tight yeah, turns. Yeah. Turn right out. Yep. And always make sure you're wearing your uh, safety lanyard. Always, yes. always, always wear the safety lanyard. Uh, Robert, uh, what muffler would you recommend for my 5000 Sport V? Um, do we have a cue that fits on that one? Um, the, QS. The, the thing with the, uh, it's a vertical motor, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit different. Uh -huh. um, give Travis a call over at Backwater Performance. Yeah. Um, they've got some mufflers over there and he can help you out. Um, let's see, who else? I might have completely not done all the necessary <laughs> maintenance to my 55 mag. Bummer. So. I know, I think we're missing some other. Are we missing part of that I one? Or is missing... Scott the one that bought the. Uh... Yeah, he's the one that his motor is in the uh, in the shop, I oh. believe. Yeah, when you, when you buy those big high horsepower piston rods, cam, roller rockers, it's not a lawnmower engine anymore. It's a race oh, engine. So yes. they. They take a little bit more maintenance. Uh, so, uh, yeah, always definitely, if you've got one of those high horsepower motors, make sure valve adjustment, oils, and fluid changes a little bit more than the average guy just because they just work so much harder. Yeah, sure. Um, Greg Dixon just installed Nat Gear Hydro Turf. Freaking sweet. Uh, grab bar trim switch, a must have, oh, in my opinion. Uh, and then just ordered the Q last night, but he says he did not see the QS for sale. Um, Greg, where did you uh, where did you purchase that? Call Travis really it's quick. Call Travis real quick. DPS is where you get the QS, uh, and they may be out, which is maybe why you didn't see it there. Right. So, uh, but yeah, give them a call and and see if they uh, see if they've got one for you. Uh, Owen Miller uh, said something about his. Uh, oh, good, good. <laughs> We're all about the good day, mate. Hand ragging on Aussies. Absolutely. Yes. Um, Glenn Weir, trim on, hand hold is the best. You're so right, Glenn. I'm telling you. If you don't have it, don't try anybody's. Right. Because once you try it. Did you see that from Owen Miller? Let's see. I just dropped the phone. <laughs> should what? Be good, should be a good opener, opening here. Limits. Limits 20, 20 mallards? mallards. Mixed bag of 40 birds, unlimited Canadian geese. What? Get us on the plane tomorrow, <laughs> baby. Holy oh cow. Gosh. 20 mallards? Let's That's see, to hit that many birds. For I'm three gonna months. Gonna need a lot of, <laughs> I'm need a lot of shells. Wow, that is freaking crazy. Owen, oh, how much does it cost to get over there from yeah, here? Seriously. A lot of money. I mean, do you know how many shells you need to take with the way you shoot? Just kidding. The way I shoot. The, the way we both shoot. <laughs> we won't be able to take any luggage. No, seriously. No, well, Nothing. our luggage will be full of ammo. <laughs> if you can Stuck find it. every ammo. pocket, yeah. If you can find it. Okay. I don't need to be willing to replace the whole handle. Yes. For some of those older motors, to put the trim switch on your on your grab bar, you're going to need to replace the whole handle on some of those. Right, yeah. There's, a, there's some other wiring and all that stuff. Yes. Uh, Rick Hillicost, for the guy with the uh, transom saver, he said, check Atwood. They have a U-shape attachment for a transom saver. Not sure if you can get just the U-shape end. So, <laughs> Scott Hammond. No maintenance equals new head unit. <laughs> hey, Scott, that's okay. We'll sell you a new motor. Oh, or we'll whatever got you. you need. We got you taken care of. No worries. Just give this guy a call. Um, make sure you have a support arm for your outboard motor to prevent stress on the transom and the boat to prevent stress cracks on the transom. Absolutely, Corey. Yes, definitely. Especially if you, if you trailer a lot, and here in Utah, 
my son-in-law and I, we don't trade her too far. Right. But we still have a transfer saver on yes. there because I work here. Yes. Um, but yeah, any type of uh, traveling, mm -hmm. especially if you do a lot of long distance, that transom saver is a must. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Especially if you drive the way I drive. Why do maintenance when there are ducks flying? <laughs> I guess if you do your maintenance in the off season, complete motor swap out, it doesn't really matter. What beaver tail blind for a 1754? Good question, Glenn. I don't have a clue. Yeah, Glenn, I'm not familiar with the beaver tails, so I can't tell you, I can't tell you that. Uh, but there's possibly somebody else that's on that might be able to. You could probably go to their website too and look and see what they recommend for that. You know, Patrick, that is a good question. Patrick, are there any plans for adding a larger oil cooler to these engines, especially for upgraded engines to help with the oil? Not from us. That would, I, I doubt Briggs is going to do anything. Yeah. I'm sure you could probably add something to yourself if you want. We've seen some really nice people, some people who've done some really nice jobs on their additional coolers that they've added themselves. Right. And we've seen some really backwoods yeah. ones that oh, yeah. you're not sure they're not going to leak oil all over your motor. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that's one of the things. I doubt Briggs is going to do anything. Yeah, no, I don't. Um, so, I something you would kind of have to, uh, to look into yourself. Okay, Dave Palmer just said Beaver Tail 1700. So hopefully that's the answer there for you with the with that blind. Oh, Casey Brady just said they have a fitting chart on their website. You can look up your specific model and it will tell you. That's why this that's why this form is so good. You guys are so awesome. Well, thanks for helping me. Yeah, like you can just ask a question. We got so many people. We don't even need to be here. We're just going to sit just quietly <laughs> and let everybody else answer the questions. That's awesome. Um, um, Alvin Bro Brio, I can I I can't answer that for you. I've ordered a forty FI Friday. How soon will I get it? I really that is that's so far above my pay grade. Yeah, right? really that's I we I don't even have a guess. I mean, that's something that your dealer when they called in and ordered that. Um, the gals that they talked to when they put the order in, should give them a general idea. I I can't tell you yeah. the lead times are. Yeah, that's that's or, uh, or different, out there a ways. So, different part of the building. Yeah, it's uh, it, it won't be there next week. I'll tell you that much. Um. Oh. Okay. Quentin, is that something you could help Quentin with if you were Need to give you a call sticker later? For my thirty-four for mud buddy. Uh, he can call Travis over BPS. Okay. Perfect. We can see. Uh, because those old thirty-five stickers, they're limited. Uh, if we have anything around or if they have anything around. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mount and how much? Okay, uh, Nathan Fulcher, uh, for a trolling motor mount on an F4, um, you've got to call, uh, you got to call over to the Arkansas plant for XL. And I'm going to tell you this and talk to Pam. Uh-huh. And I'm going to tell you the number right now. Are you sure? You said right now, and you're surfing the web. <laughs> Give me a freaking second. Going. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to call 870-269-9000. Uh, I'm even going to post it right here. And then ask for Pam, and she can help ask you uh, help you get that trolling motor bracket and stuff that you need for your boat. Yes. Oh, let's see. I'm going to post this as Mud Buddy, not as Jeffrey. Look at me go. You go, Jeffrey. Post it, Mud Buddy. We do have a lot of uh, fishing accessories. Uh, if you need anything like that, go to the Excel store. Uh, check out those things. There's a lot of things on there. There are also a lot of things missing. I would actually say, wait one more week. Okay, wait a week. Because <laughs> I've got so much stuff coming in. You guys, it's just, it's just crazy right now with the way, I mean, the whole world is kind of this way right now. It's that everybody is buying and everybody is making, but nobody has anything. Right. <laughs> Like nobody can get parts right. for any industry, for anything. It's just wild for, for all of us stuff. So all of our boat manufacturers, all of our motor parts, and all of just like our fishing parts, they, they're hard to come by. So it takes longer to order things. And everybody's, we're just, we're just a little further out than we thought we would be. Um, 
and so you know things are coming as fast as as fast as we can. So another week or so, and I should have all uh, of my more stuff. Scotty stuff should be back. Kind of revamping our, a little bit. All of our brackets. No, it's just brackets coming in. Things oh. like that are just. Oh you know, hey, just, it's uh, our good shop manager Ian poking his head in the door. <laughs> hi Ian. Everybody say hi Ian. Do you want to turn the camera around? Yeah. Want to see Ian run? <laughs> <laughs> want to see Ian run down the hallway? PC uh, Brady says he usually calls in his orders to the Excel store. Oh, great. Versus uh, emailing. That that works as well. And Pam can take your orders. Yes, Pam is really great. She will always help you out over there with uh, with the store stuff. Um, actually, and you can also go through your dealer, go local through your dealer. local dealer as well. As in fact, that's how the shop over there now does prefer that you talk to your dealer. Um, so do that as well. Okay. Great. All right, let's talk about what? Let's talk about next week. Next week. That's what I'm really excited for. So let's let's let me before we start talking about next week, let's look at the weather forecast. So oh far, we're looking if we go Wednesday or Thursday, partly cloudy, mid sixties. Yeah, should be okay. Should be great. But it could change because it's it, Utah. It could change because we it says thirty percent chance of snow tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So if the weather's good, we have something big planned? Um, yes. What are we so doing? So we are going to go out with Mr. O'Brien. Dustin O'Brien. Dustin O'Brien, the man himself. OB Design. From OB Design. What has he designed? created the turbo for the oh, Mud Buddy Motors. Yes. The yes. Mud Buddy Motors. So he is, I don't know if you've all been following him and his Facebook and his adventures, but he posts a lot about it. Um, he's getting really close. We're just about ready. We've got one on our um, on our boat right now. So we were going to go with him and we were going to run it and let you guys ask him questions and get him on with us uh, so he can explain everything, the process of how to get one, where we are, how long it's going to take, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and then hopefully give you a chance to listen to it, see it run. It sounds really pretty with that cool little muffler it has on it. It's amazing how quiet it is. <sighs> We're actually going to have two boats. We're going to have the 40 and a, he's got a 37. He's got a 37 too. that he's going to bring. So yes. we'll have a couple of them out there. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be out taking pictures and stuff like that. But it's uh, really, really awesome. It's I've driven it a couple of times. It's, oh I have man. Yet, I it's have yet to freaking awesome, you guys. Hang on to really, the handle. I really, really liked it. The whole shot was face ripping. I mean, it's really freaking awesome, you guys. You're going to love this. So um, hopefully that will be next week and we'll keep you all, I'll get all sorts of, you know, reminders out to you all because you don't want to miss it. No, you don't want to miss but it that. it is also possible that it won't happen because, you know, the weather too as well. But it is our intention as of right now um, to, to get out there and show it to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Casey Brady. Casey, he uh, must have been out with somebody he, from the shop. He did. He uh, he, he, did. he got out with, with Ricky. Yes, got a little got a little sneak preview sneak. exclusive. Must be nice to know people. I work here and I haven't been out. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you happen to go out of town just the wrong time. Yep, that's true. Um, I did like Andy Johnson, the boat doctor's the boat doctor. uh, comments. That's that's awesome. That he's got a new. He just uh, had uh, our good friend Sid from Fast Duck Motors out there in Louisiana, and they were knocking the whiz out of the redfish. Oh, yeah. oh I saw some of you yes. showed me some of those pictures, man. That that was crazy. Um, Andy, send me some of those. I, I, man, those are freaking sweet. But I love. The, uh, can you believe thirty thousand? We're approaching thirty thousand motors sold in the serial numbers. That is freaking crazy. Yep. That's a Been lot here of, a long time. That's a lot of mud boaters out there. It is. <sighs> Um, yeah, that's, that's great. Um, so yeah, next week, that'll probably be Wednesday or Thursday of next week when we'll get out and we'll take a whole crew and maybe we'll get the camp chef out and maybe do some lunch and take a, take a bow or two and see if we can't, see if we can't do something, snag something. Um, also everybody, I don't know if, uh, if the rest of you have seen, but this guy was all over Facebook this morning. Did you see all those? No, I didn't. You didn't? No, what was I on? Oh, man. I had a job to do. I can't just oh. play on Facebook oh, all day. Oh, please. <laughs> no, no, I uh, created a new really awesome graphic that I was going to use for uh, for uh, an, an email that I'm creating, and it's uh, you, right, like, with your bow. Did I miss? 
I, you had not yet shot. I'm sure you missed. I know I'll that you missed. Yes, you, I will I, guarantee you you I missed. I missed before I even pulled the bow back. Yeah. No, it's a it's a pretty sweet picture, you and uh, you and Ricky. So, Andy Johnson said he fished in a boat last week with a turbo on it. Sid towed oh, his yeah. test turbo boat to Louisiana. Very nice addition and super quiet. It's super quiet. So, and I think purse. there you go. That's from the boat doctor. That's from the boat doctor. There, y'all. So, um, so yeah, next week we're gonna get with uh, with O'Brien. Yep. From Op Design, and if you're not following him, you can go on to Op Design. Uh, and follow him. Watch his videos. He posts tons all the time. So um, he's really great. He's totally open to answer any of your questions and all of that. He's he's really great from from the engineer himself. Yeah, Joe had a uh, question. What's up with the boats being delayed? Uh, Kate and uh, his is five weeks past delivery. Quote. It's mostly. Is it mostly motor issues or boat issues? It's probably a little bit of both. It will be a little bit of both. Um, I will tell you that, like every boat manufacturer, there are uh, between high amounts of sales and product shortages across the board. Times delivery times are just a little, they're a little behind, no doubt about it. And uh, we do all we can. We keep trying to keep our dealers as informed as we can so they can inform you guys where you're purchasing them. Um, and we're doing our best at Excel. They, you know, they just opened that new, uh, Tennessee. that new Tennessee plant. So they're starting to, uh, produce boats even faster. And they're really, they're really working hard, man. And they, I mean, they're, they're cranking them out as fast as humanly possible, but everything right down to the very aluminum is not as easy to get as it used to be. Casey had a good, he, he replied, it's a demand issue, man. I'm over on mine too. Parts, accessories, materials, they are all, they are all on high demands with fluctuating inventory, tough times for everything right now. And that's yeah. true. I mean, it, it, we're it not the only is. ones. It's, and I know where Casey's getting his boat built and yeah. they're running into the same problems we are. It's yep. not just, it's not just us, it's happening yeah. to everybody. So yes. just be patient. Get your orders in now. Get you your orders motor in guys. now. Don't. Yes, do not wait. If there is ever a time not to procrastinate, it, it is this year of all years. So Clint, our in-house sales guy, uh -huh. who sells to anyone who lives farther than 75 miles away from a dealer, mm -hmm. he's already on his third load of boats. <laughs> And it's only the middle of April. Yeah. It is insane. Normally we wouldn't bring those in for another two, three months. But I, in fact, I meant to put, I've got some really cool video that I'm going to post here on Facebook in the next couple of days, but uh, the truck of coming the truck. in and it was almost double the size of normally when a truck comes in. I mean, so he had 10 huge. boats come in, eight of those 10 are sold. So he's got two stock boats. <laughs> the other, the poor guy's downstairs, uh, yeah. junior. He had uh, rigged up three boats yesterday, plus oh, still creating all the ones that got to go out to the individual guys. And he was uh, doing the boat package for two more this afternoon who are going to be picked up tomorrow. So we've got a ton of boats and motors going out of here. It's just crazy. But yeah, we we have some shortage problems. Yeah, and, it's, and well, in case you just said it too, try being in the construction industry right now, projects shut down all over the place due to a lack of lumber. Yep. Oh, and man. Casey, Casey does a lot of roofing and all that stuff, so there, you know. Yeah, Corey Arn, fishing equipment too, he's in high, yes, every, I mean, literally everything. It's why there's not a lot on our online store. I mean, it is literally across the board. I don't, you go to a sporting goods place and they are just <laughs> I hammered. I know. Because a lot of people still don't know what is the country going to be. Is Are we going to be wide open by right. summertime or are we still going to be? Are we still going to be kind of like in this, oh, I'm going to do stuff. We're going to go I camping, know. we're going to go fishing. Well, well, so I, I mean, kind of trying to find a camping spot, even towards the end of the year, I mean, everything's full. You can't, you can't reserve any spot. I mean, it's just crazy out there. It's going to be a wild year. Yeah. Owen Miller over there on the uh, other side of the country, or mm -hmm. the, world, the world, he said yeah. it's the same thing over same there. Where thing they're over asking. there, absolutely. It's just, it is nuts. And it, yeah, it's, it's frustrating nuts. for you guys, trust me, but it's also frustrating for us because we want to get that stuff out to you guys oh, as really fast do. as we can. Yes. Yes, so yes, if yes. you're thinking about ordering or having a buddy who's thinking about ordering a boat or a motor, 
don't wait. Don't. We always don't wait. we always say don't procrastinate. Now we're telling you, do not. Do not wait. Wait or procrastinate. Because yes. if you want your motor and you want to buy duck season, you better get on it now. Yeah. Especially. There's, there's no knowing how things are going to go. I mean, right now, this is by far the the highest spring or first quarter that we've ever had. By by a large margin, and who knows? I mean, if it continues like this, it's going to be a wild duck season trying to get boats. If you if if you need if you need a motor or a boat, no, most definitely. It's it's like now is your time. You've got to yeah. do it now. If you I'm want. glad I got my boat, and my motor all done last year. I mean, I still have a little preference treatment here, but I know I was just know. excited to get that little trolling motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. It's like I was just yeah. super excited. There was one across the country. So if you've got something on order, just be patient. Know that we're doing the best we can yes. with part shortages and everything that's going on. And the same with the same thing with the boat plant. We're thankfully we're not the only ones suffering. It's yes. everybody. Yes, suffering. it is everybody. Um, and yeah, like you said, we're doing the best we can. Uh, but don't hesitate to ask your dealer. The dealer can um, call us and uh, try and get a little info. We can give them that info. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll, we're, we're just pounding them out as fast as we can. We're doing all we can. All we we're can. not like the ammunition guys running seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We would if we had the parts, but we don't have the parts. Yeah, if we had the parts. Yeah, but we just, that is just that. don't have that. That is absolutely thing. Right Even now. paint. Like, paint is hard to get. Like, the whole thing, you guys, is just... From from A <laughs> to Z and everything in between. But, you know, we will we'll do what we can do to, to get them out. We'll keep you informed the best that we can. Yep. And we're hopefully going to be out playing in the water next week. That's next what week. I'm looking for. Yeah, I am really looking forward I'll to that. I'll put too. on an extra layer and a heavier yeah. jacket to go try running that new motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, going to be a lot of fun. Yes. So. All right, everybody, we're going to call it there. My computer died on me, so I don't, are there any other? I don't. I haven't seen any more uh, I haven't. comments come in, but... Um, nope, I haven't seen anything okay. else. Well, great, then we're going to call it there. Um, sorry we didn't get a chance to get uh, Ricky in here to... Uh, Give you a little uh, little lesson on some stuff, but we'll try and do that in the next couple of weeks. But uh, tune in uh, next week. Stay tuned. We're going to try and get out and get some good stuff. And until then, we'll see you right back here in the shallow water. Take or care, the, everybody. The shallow office. The shallow office. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Should I get up? And yeah, because I'm going to push the wrong button. We're going to lose it all. <laughs> and then I will be called mud or worse. <laughs>